Hi, now let's talk about absolute value. All right, today's topic is absolute value of a number. Well, what is absolute value of a number? Well, it's pretty much the distance of that number and zero. All right, no matter how many units, how far it is from zero, that is the absolute value. Let's look at two numbers here. Let's look at five, positive five and negative five, positive five. All right, how far is positive five from zero? If you count the spaces or units here, you'll see that it's exactly five spaces away. So the absolute value of positive five would be five. That's a dis distance away. Let's look at absolute value of negative five. Well, negative five is here. Count the spaces away from zero. All right, and the distance is five. Okay, when we talk about distance, it's always gonna be a positive number, okay? When we measure something, or we travel a certain distance, it's always a positive value. You can't and we travel negative miles or negative kilometers. Yeah. Okay, let's look at another problem. If I'm looking for the absolute value of negative six, right, it's gonna be six. If I'm looking at the absolute value of positive six, it's also gonna be a six, All right? Absolute value of negative 15, that's gonna be 15, All right? An easier way of thinking about it is if there's a negative sign inside absolute value, disregard it and just put it as a positive number, okay? All right. You can use that rule for the most part except for when you have a mathematical operation inside the absolute value. For example, five minus three. What is the absolute value of five minus three? Well, first you need to perform the operation inside first. Okay, five minus three is two, and the absolute value of two is two. Okay. What about this one? Absolute value of negative five minus four. Well, before you do the absolute value, you have to perform the operation inside. In this case is negative five minus four, that's negative nine. And the absolute value of negative nine is nine. Right. How about absolute value of negative four times, uh, let's say, a negative three? Okay. All right. First, you need to multiply that negative four and negative three. That would be 12. And the absolute value of 12 will be 12. Okay, let's take a look at this one over here. So in this one over here, you see there's actually two absolute values. Right? When there is more than one, treat it like parentheses, and you want to do the most inner one first. So over here, you want to do the functions negative 2 minus 1. That would be negative 1. Okay. Now let's find absolute value of negative 1. That's going to be positive 1. Everything else stays the same. And now from here, we still have to follow the, follow the order operations. So it's negative 1 times 3. That's negative 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. And the absolute value of 0 is 0. There you go. That's how you do absolute value.